Lindsay Tuggy was born in Dallas, Texas, and had an interesting childhood. Lindsay and their sister, having a six-year age gap, did not get along in any way and would constantly get into fights, doing things like tying each other to chairs and stabbing each other with thumbtacks. So, you know, just normal sibling stuff. But maiming their sister wasn't their only hobby, because Lindsay was also super into video games, anime, and sports, doing things like gymnastics and softball, as well as being a dancer. And being super into musical theater, they went to the University of Texas in Austin to study theater and dance, but later found an interest in film. Here, Lindsay joined TSTV, or the Texas Student Television Program, a student-run TV station at the university. During their time there, they worked on a show called Sneak Peek, a movie review show that was created by none other than Bernie Burns when he was a student at UT. But Lindsay also worked on a ton of other things, like acting, where they went under the stage name Lindsay Calvin, as well as interning at CBS, doing news programming and editing. But it wasn't just acting in news, because Lindsay also worked on short films, such as the short movie My Apocalypse which was a Robert Rodriguez parody about mimes taking over the world. It was during this time that Lindsay got to work with people like Miles Luna and Brandon Farmahini, who are also students at the university. Miles was spending his time producing shows and making short movies, such as a short film about Red Dead, which Lindsay was the assistant director for. And it was because of these experiences that Lindsay switched to wanting to work in film, doing things like writing and directing, because they loved the creativity of it. So when Lindsay saw that Miles had an internship at a cute little production company called Rooster Teeth, and Rooster Teeth had an opening, they knew they had to take it. So Lindsay sent an email to Matt Hullum saying, Hi, I went to college with Brandon and Miles. Please give me a job. And Matt saw this and was like, Who the fuck is this? Hey guys, do you know who this Lindsay Tuggy is? And Miles, remembering back to when Lindsay worked on his Red Dead movie, was like, Oh yeah, Lindsay's great. So from this, Rooster Teeth managed to set up an interview where they were like, okay, Lindsay, you're gonna come in for an interview for the internship and you're gonna get interviewed by Brandon. And Lindsay was like, okay, Brandon is the one I'm gonna talk to. So I gotta focus on impressing Brandon. So Lindsay sat down and started the interview with Brandon and things were going pretty well. Just your normal box standard interview. But then all of a sudden, some random dude just barged into the room and was like, all right, let's get to work. Let's talk business. And Lindsay was like, who is this guy? Why did he just barge into my interview with Brandon? What a douche, just walking in here like he owns the place. Who the hell does he think he is? And when the guy tried to talk to them, Lindsay was like, ugh, dude, why are you talking to me? I'm here to talk to Brandon. So Lindsay was like, yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. So anyway, Brandon, blah, 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 blah. that other interviewer was Bernie. So Lindsay had just ignored and shunned the founder of the company that they were trying to get an internship at. Yet somehow, Lindsay still got accepted and somehow landed the internship. But none of this would have happened if Lindsay hadn't worked at TSTV and made those connections there. So Lindsay's work on the TV station that Bernie had previously worked on and accelerated was what helped them get a job at the company that Bernie later created. So everything came full circle. It's funny how things work out that way, huh? So Lindsay made it. Yay! And once they officially started working at Rooster Teeth in 2011, they were like, all right, I got the job, time to make some friends. So they went into the office and saw a dude with Legend of Zelda tattoos. And Lindsay thought, I like Zelda. I can go talk to that guy because we have something in common. So they went up to the dude and said, hey man, I like your tattoos. And the dude was like, okay. And then just walked away. And Lindsay was like, wow, that guy was a dick. I hope I never see him again. That guy's name was Michael Jones. And little did Lindsay know that they had just met their soulmate. And this awkward little interaction was the start of their wonderful lives together.